Hi, my name is Mae Bolgren and I'm a board certified behavior analyst with Brett DeNovi Associates. In this video, we're going to be talking about consumer behavior and experimental marketing. In this video, we're going to be going over areas B10, D2, and G6 of the BACB 5th edition task list. In experimental marketing, variables that increase the saliency of brands are identified placement, price, or promotion. These variables enhance the effectiveness of brands as reinforcement, therefore increasing the likelihood that consumers will buy the brands. In this video, I'd like to discuss consumer behavior when the placement of the product is manipulated. In the Sigurdsson et al. article, the researchers compared sales of 24 brands of potato chips when the target brand of potato chip was placed on either a low, medium, or high shelf. They also tracked the sales of the target brand potato chip when it was placed on a large display at the entrance of the store. The researchers found that the target brand's relative sales were higher when it was placed in the middle shelf as compared to the high or the low shelf. Also, the placement of the target brand in the large display at the entrance of the store seemed to increase the sales further. One explanation for the increase in sales is that the response effort was low when the product was placed in the middle of the shelf and further reduced when the target brand chips were in a large display at the entrance of the store. Since there were no other potato chip brands in the vicinity, it may have increased the saliency of the target brand or decreased the motivation to select another brand of potato chips once the consumer selected the target brand. Another research article also manipulated product placement, but an effort to increase healthy food choices. According to the World Health Organization, worldwide obesity has nearly tripled since 1975. There are several factors that may alter the consumption of healthy foods, like the location of healthy foods versus unhealthy food products within stores, the availability of healthy foods, access to nutritional information, and the price. In the Noble et al. article, they examined both immediate and enduring sales effects of modifying the typical in-store shelf placement of food items at the checkout with and without in-store advertisement in both a convenience store and a discount store. During the checkout placement condition, the target products on the shelf at the checkout in both stores and the unhealthy food usually displayed were relocated in the shelf next to the checkout. During the checkout placement and advertisement condition, an advertisement on the checkout shelves was added as a rule for consumer selection of that product, like dried fish is good for your health, builds up your muscles, and helps to keep you in shape. As a result, placing healthy food items at the store checkout led to substantial impact on sales, but the advertisement also at that point of purchase did not lead to meaningful increase in sales. The sales of the relocated unhealthy checkout products actually decreased 29% during the follow-up period. In clinical practice, when working with clients and a goal is to increase healthy food choices, healthier choices can be placed in a convenient location. For example, healthier food choice can be placed at eye level of the client or towards the front of the refrigerator as opposed to in a drawer way in the back of the refrigerator. This will lower the response effort to access the healthy food choices. Also, consider displaying healthier snacks such as fruit in a form that's easy to eat, like sliced up and on a plate, just before or during meals to capitalize on hunger as motivation. As a client passes the fruit, they'll be more likely to grab a piece if it's already cut up into bite-sized morsels, further reducing the response effort. According to matching law, individuals match their behavior to reinforcement available for each response to receive the highest possible reward or best possible outcome. The matching law is a mathematical formula that accurately predicts choice responding amongst alternatives relative to the rate of reinforcement provided for each choice. Matching law plays a role in these examples. By decreasing the response effort, the individual will allocate their responses to more healthy food choices. It is the distribution of preference from concurrently available alternates. Thanks so much for watching this video, and to disseminate the science, please share this video.